Well, the last thing you need when you're fleeing a hurricane is to get stuck in congestion from construction. That's right. You do not want that. It is why the Georgia Department of Transportation, they are stalling some of their road projects. That's right. And these can cause traffic backup. So the goal here is to make room for more drivers and to keep things moving smoothly. Our team coverage continues with CBS 46's Bridget Spencer. GDOT is asking Georgians to make room for those trying to escape Ian, and they're also expecting highways and roads to be full of evacuees over the next few days. Expect some delays and heavy traffic as evacuees from Florida and other parts of Georgia make their way throughout the state. They have to go somewhere, and normally the easiest place to go is north. The Georgia Department of Transportation says they will be halting all projects requiring lane closures along I-75, I-16, in I-95 south of Atlanta, all the way down to the state line. We are pulling those out of the way to give uh, enough capacity for uh, both people in Georgia that need to get out of South Georgia that want to move further north, um, and as well as those evacuees from Florida. In addition, GDOT wants to ensure contractors remain safe on the roads, whether it's keeping them safe from potential high winds and rain, or staying out of harm's way with the influx of traffic. We're getting a lot of extra congestion with those trying to seek shelter from the storm. Uh, and so if you don't have to be out on the interstates, we certainly encourage you not to be. Authorities also want to remind evacuees, as always, Georgia's express lanes accept the Florida Sun Pass and the North Carolina Quick Pass. Dale says GDOT is preparing to respond to this event in every way possible as they prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. In Atlanta, Bridget Spencer, CBS 46 News. And we